Hey everyone, it's Vinny. I am back and I have a wonderful Body Shop product review and that is the Body Shop's British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. Quenches with moisture, soothes tones with real rose petals and essence of hand-picked roses from Britain. This is going to be the last and final expert facial mask I'm going to review from the Body Shop's expert facial mask collection before I give my final verdict on what my favorite Body Shop uh, expert mask is. So this one I thought was really cool because this is vegan. There are only two masks that are not vegan in the Body Shop's collection. I've talked about them before. So getting back to this review, I read the back and I want to read this because I thought this sounded pretty uh, interesting. British Roses Fresh British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask quenches with moisture, soothes, soothes tones. For skin that needs to be quenched and replumped with moisture and comfort to reveal its dewy glow again. Inspired by the European bathing rituals, our refreshing gel mask is infused with real rose petals, moisturizing rose essences, toning rosehip oil, and soothing aloe vera, which combine to leave skin plumped with moisture and visibly smooth. The special ingredients are real rose petals, an essence of hand-picked roses from Britain that freshly repl replenishes the skin's water reserves, rosehip oil from Chile, rich in repairing omega-3 and omega-6 that help tone skin, community trade organic aloe vera from Mexico, known for its gentle, calming, and soothing properties for the skin. Instantly after the first use, skin is replenished with moisture and feels ultra-smooth, silky, soft, and toned. Facial after facial, you will get a dewy, youthful glow revealed. Um, really easy to use. Um, remove any makeup if you have any on. Cleanse your skin. Um, smooth an even layer onto a wet face. And use the um, brush for the, use the brush to apply it, avoiding the eye and lip area. And then after five to 10 minutes, rinse off with warm water. You can use this two to three times daily. Um, again, it is vegan and it is also a very good product because I have used this before. If you have sensitive skin, if your skin is otherwise um, irritated or if you tried any of the other expert face masks and they were too tingly, this one will not tingle. Um, opening it up, it's got a great aesthetic property um, on the outside. Its signature color is this nice rosy pink with their signature um, logo being a rose. And inside it is all pink, so it is very appealing to the eye. They have a great um, little logo to this. So they keep the uniform colors and everything else, but they change the color. So it definitely gets perfect scores for aesthetic appeal, even though I'm not grading it on that. On the inside, this is actually very loose. I might argue that it is looser than the honey one. If you can see in here, it is this interesting texture. It has a slight um, yellowy off orange color. Ooh, and that is very aromatic. It smells very floral, very rosy. Almost smells like you're uh, walking through a fresh rose garden that had just been rained on. It is very relaxing. There are actually petals in here. I don't know if you can see that. And unlike most masks that are applied to on dry skin, you're gonna wanna apply this to a wet face. So I will be right back. Um, cleanse your skin, put on your uh, headband if you have the red panda headband or the rabbit one. Um, but just get your hair out of the way and just put some warm water on, not worth sopping wet, but just to make your face damp. All right, so I put some warm water on my face to dampen it up and I'm gonna apply this using the Body Shop's um, Expert Facial Brush. And if you can see in here, this is very loose, so you take a little bit like so and you just start applying. It kind of has an off-red color um, slash orangey color when you apply it. At least we can zoom in for you guys. The minute you apply it is very aromatic. There is no tingling, there is no burning. Um, with this mask, I can say you can get a little close to your eye like so if you're careful enough. Because it will give you that nice plumped look. So this mask I definitely would say um, is a little bit stronger than the honey, um, but is still like a do no harm mask, meaning that it will not um, irritate your skin if you are sensitive. Um, but at the same time, it still has expert properties that are not present in the um, general masks. I also think that because this mask is so gel-like, um, it is going to be the most easy mask to rinse off thus far. 
Um, I thought the acai or the honey would be easier, but I think this is gonna be the easiest because this is practically just a thickened rose water um, with aloe in there. And that is another thing, I'll, I'll talk about it when I do the finished review, um, but rose water is very healing to the skin and I like how the body shop is including the best of the best from Europe um, and also bringing in other countries that have great products to offer as well as using the European influence because a lot of the other masks have come from different continents and this is kind of like the historic Europe's uh, beauty remedies because rose water has been used for centuries um, for beautification purposes. And this mask is very clear, it's very translucent. Um, you're not really gonna see it much after you leave it on. And in my experience with using it before, it does absorb into the skin very quickly. So you basically don't rinse off much. This is really um, interesting technology, how they make it, because it evaporates quickly into the skin. It is a way of just nourishing your skin. I think that was pretty awesome they made something like this. And because this is so gel-like, you don't have to massage it in like the other masks that are more coarse. Um, you can if you want to. All right. So that is it. Um, I have applied this. I'm going to leave it on for 10 minutes. So after you apply, just relax, uh, light a good candle, read a good book, and have fun looking like a, and looking and smelling like a rose monster. <laughs> Although this is actually pretty clean compared to the other masks. You don't have that like fun, funky look. So I will be on after this is all processed. All right, everyone, I am back. And I must say that I am extremely impressed by the Body Shop's uh, British Rose plumping mask. This was a mask that was very aromatic. It was very floral. Um, it really reminded me of being out in a rose garden in England. Very... Um, they use a lot of aromatherapy in this mask, and I like that because, granted, each and other, every mask from their expert line has aromatic properties. This one was very strong. You almost felt like you were in Europe. Um, it brought back a lot of good memories. Um, if you garden, it's probably a really good mask. Basically, I like how they use the um, aroma in there to really evoke a strong emotion. So this is a really good mask to just relax and you know end a long day of hard work with. So um, I do rate this mask, by the way, before I forget, a five out of five. It is definitely a top product. Um, hint, hint, if you realized I gave every single expert mask a five out of five because it truly was expert quality. Um, this mask is the mask that you're gonna wanna use for distressed, dry, um, mature, aged skin, maybe skin that's um, you know dry with some fine wrinkles. It will help to really help the skin retain moisture, um, kind of plump it up again. Because if you can see up here, it looks really nice and shiny and it feels um, firm and tight, doesn't feel um, loose. So if you have fine lines, this mask is definitely a good mask for you. I would say that it gives your skin a plumped, dewy look. So if you can see up close, um, up here where the eyes tend to be a little bit more um, droopy, they felt better and firmer. If you have droopy eyes, um, eyes that kind of are dark, this will help to kind of alleviate that. So up here feels nice and firm, feels strong and um, bulked up. I like how um, it uses uh, the rose petals in there. Um, you see them kind of floating in there and you feel them when you apply it. That was a nice touch. It reminds you um, how basically natural this product is. And I think that really sets it apart from other skincare lines that are uh, very basic. Uh, whatever is in here I like because it absorbs into your skin quickly and it literally was just throwing water on and just drying it off of the towel. There was no scrubbing, there was no um, rinsing for minutes on end. This was a very quick mask to rinse off. So if you do want to treat yourself in the morning before work, you can probably use this and not have to worry about getting it all over because it comes off very quick. Other lines that you can use this with, there is a British Rose line from the Body Shop, um, but they're more of like a toners and there's like a body cream or something. You could use it with that mask. So I'm mean, not that mask, that line. So if you do have a friend that you want to get a gift set with, you can do the buy two, get one free deal at the Body Shop store and get them other products from the British Rose line and include this mask in there. I would also say that you could use this mask with the Drops of Youth line, the Roots of Strength, and I really think that it will go well with the oils of life. Um, those three lines are really good and I think they can be used interchangeably. Um, so this mask is a great touch with them. Um, it is vegan, so if you have a vegan loved one, you can 
um, get them this product and don't have to worry about the ingredients. It is also very gentle, so if you know someone with sensitive skin and you want to get them a relatively nice gift, this is a good gift to get them. Um, if you don't want to um, get the whole product for yourself um, and you're kind of worried you may not like it, no harm in trying the um, lovely travel-sized small uh, masks. You can get three of them for a good deal. So I also like how this mask um, incorporated Europe. I think that the expert masks are doing a good job at getting ingredients from around the world, and I like how they're inspired by traditional medicine because rose water and roses have been used for ages in European medicine, so that is a really good um, factor that they use. Great design, great product, um, definitely is very um, high-end looking and it looks great for a gift. So I will definitely use this product again. Again, it is a five out of five, definitely a premium product. I recommend trying it if you do wanna get a youthful, plumped, dewy glow without having to worry about doing all of the chemical treatments and it is non-invasive. So I will be on to reveal my favorite Body Shop um, Expert Mask. You guys are more than welcome to guess. I think you guys should kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna pick because if you follow me on my Instagram, um, you will know which product I love. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be on with more videos in the future for you guys. And let me know down below if you guys have tried the uh, British Plumping Rose and if you liked it or not. So I'll see you guys soon.